This is a funny one. Okay, my first job. to my channel i am so excited to be back this week with a new video this one is going to be a fun one it is a get to know me so i took some questions from the youtube tag i also personalized a few of them and then i also put some questions in here from the instagram q a i realized i probably should have done this video as my first youtube video but you live and you learn and now we're here we can't go back in time let's just get started so the first question is, what is your name? My name is Haley McLeod. Some of the nicknames I have are Hales, Hailstorm. My dad used to call me Too Loud McLeod because as a kid, I was always vocal. I just never would ever shut up. Theatrical, singing. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Calgary, Alberta in Canada. I've lived in a bunch of small towns though. So I've lived in Strathmore, I've lived in Canmore. I also had a period of my life where I lived in BC in this little, little, small, eeny, weeny, bitsy, teeny town called Mill Bay. When is your birthday and what is your zodiac sign? So my birthday is April 21st. I am a Taurus to the T. I am stubborn. <laughs> I am hardworking. I am dependable. I'm very nostalgic, like very nostalgic. I have a hard time of letting go of things. Love the finer things in life, beauty, art, good food, good smelling things, comfy, cozy. What is your age? I am 27. Do you have any kids? I have a beautiful angel baby, thank you God. Her name is Maria Rose and she is 13 months old and that is something I think you should definitely know about me because that is my life now and that is what my YouTube is kind of about, motherhood. What was your first job? Okay, my first job, I think I was 15 or 14. I honestly don't even remember mom brain. So I used to want to be an actress. So my first job was a extra on a TV show called Heartland. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it or if you even know what it is. And because I was a minor, I had to have my dad come with me onto set. And so he actually ended up being an extra in it with me too. And it was this really cool experience. If you knew my dad, this moment would be hilarious. We were sitting in the cafe and he was acting as my dad, but he was actually my dad. You can't speak when the cameras are rolling. So we were like mimic, kind of like mouthing words to each other. And there was this one point where he was like, no, 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 no. I'm like, dad, like I was like, that's not good acting. Like he's like making these funny faces. And I was so embarrassed. I was like, please dad, that's like, you're just supposed to pretend you're having coffee. Like you don't sit there like. <laughs> One of the best memories I have of my dad. And it was just such an amazing first job. What is your ethnic background? I am Scottish and Polish. My last name is McLeod. So pretty sure that gives away the Scottish aspect of me. What languages do you speak? I also wish I learned how to speak more languages before becoming a mom because now my brain is mush. I can't absorb anything anymore like I used to, but I'm definitely learning Greek because my partner's Greek and his family's from Greece and it's so important that my daughter speaks Greek. So I'm learning, I can say some stuff. I don't wanna say it right now because my pronunciation isn't really good. I'm learning, I definitely learn new words every day and I try to teach Maria as much as I can, but English and I will, I will, I'm making that promise to myself, I will know how to speak Greek. How would your friends describe you? I would say super reliable, thoughtful. I'm really like an extra friend. Like I'll go out of my way to do things for people or to send things or gifts. So I'm a good advice giver. I'm like the therapist, like if you have something going on in your life, I'm a really good listener. I love to give advice, I love to help. So I'm like that therapist friend. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Definitely, God willing, growing my family. I hope to have more little babies. I hope to have a 
beautiful home and to just raise my kids to be good people and to give them the best life they can possibly have. Career-wise, I'm an author and a poet, so I guess that's another thing to know about me. I have a book out. My first book is poetry-based. It's something that I wrote to help me heal and to grieve. If you are watching this and you're an OG from my Instagram and you followed my poetry, I just wanna say I love you so much. I definitely have shifted my focus. I have started to do a lot more suicide awareness. So I have a brand and a company I'm about to launch this year as well as a charity. It's just in honor of my dad, which I lost to suicide. I also just lost my cousin last year. I have lost these beautiful souls in my life. I made a pact and I promise to God that I will spend the rest of my life, I get a little emotional, sorry. I just made a promise to myself, I would spend the rest of my life doing a career in suicide awareness. I will kind of keep you guys updated on that once I am ready to actually release, probably write another book that's definitely in the bucket list of what Haley is going to do in her lifetime. Why did you start this channel? I started this channel not only to start conversations that I want to talk about, but to also help other people not feel so alone. There's tons of things that I have been through in my lifetime that I definitely have felt super alone or invisible in. I wanted to make this channel about a bunch of things. I want to bring awareness to a lot of things in motherhood, especially the mental health side of motherhood, postpartum anxiety, postpartum depression, the things that I went through, so many things that I experienced becoming a mother, being pregnant, that I just want to share my story on. I wanna share my experience, the tips and tricks and advice and everything that I have just learned being a mom on my journey. I am somebody in life that loves to share. I love to help people go through their healing journeys and to just give people something to relate to. That ties into the next question, which is what will this channel be about? A lot of this channel will be about postpartum and mental health and my lifestyle, but I also wanna do some fun things like vlogs and the day in the lives. You can expect just a wide variety of things from this channel, so make sure you subscribe to follow me and to keep updated with my videos. Just share my my journey so join the ride and hit subscribe how many countries have you traveled to I have traveled to the United States I've been to a lot of places in the USA I love Las Vegas I love Santa Monica love Miami I also traveled to Greece Greece oh I freaking love Greece we went to Mykonos we went to Athens we went to Naxos Serbia I've been there my best friend's husband's from Serbia her wedding was there got to go there I also went on a cruise so does that count we only like really got to go to the beaches and to like little food huts went to Puerto Rico we went to like Turks and Caicos oh my gosh where else did we go on that cruise I'll have to ask my best friend because I literally don't. Obviously we can't travel right now, so I haven't been anywhere in the last like two years, but in the future, definitely plan to travel to more countries. Who is your childhood best friend? Oh, my childhood best friend. What on earth would I do without you? Her name is Val, Valerie, my other half. Like she is literally my everything. Shout out to her. I cannot imagine my life without her. We have been best friends since 2009. That's like a whole nother video I have to make. Maybe I'll do like a best friend tag with her because there is just so much to talk about and so little time on this little video. What are your favorite things to do? Write poetry, hang out with my baby. I love being in the sun. Oh my gosh, I love just sitting in the sun, hanging out in the sun, being outside, going for walks. Obviously, I haven't been able to travel, but I love traveling, going to the ocean. I love researching things, so I really like learning new things, researching topics, love listening to good music, cooking, baking. There's so many things I love in this life. I love life. What is your favorite song? Okay, my favorite song, how do you choose? Hey, my favorite artist on earth is Christina Aguilera, so any one of her songs. One of my favorite songs though, would probably have to be J.P. Cooper, Closer. 
that was a big song in my pregnancy. I have so many good memories listening to that song. I feel the spirit of my dad when I listen to that song. I think of a beautiful future and life. Best part about motherhood. Not only seeing my baby grow and develop her personality and she's like the sweetest little angel right now. She blows me kisses. Oh, and it melts my heart. Also the feeling that I get, like at the end of the day, my heart is so full of love that I just am so excited to see her in the morning. I'm so excited to wake up and make breakfast and eat breakfast with her. Being a mom and motherhood has also shown me how strong I am. It has also introduced me into how strong women are and mothers are and parents are. It has taught me so much patience. It has taught me to just be present. It has taught me to enjoy life, to really, really enjoy every single moment. Motherhood has taught me so much and I'm sure you're going to hear a lot more about how much it has taught me on this channel. What is your favorite movie? Ooh, my favorite movie is Mr. and Mrs. Smith. I have watched that a billion times. I love Angelina Jolie, so that is like my favorite movie. Also burlesque. I love musicals. That is also my favorite movie. I don't like horror movies. I don't like sad, sad movies. I get scared easily. I get stressed easily. When I watch an intense movie, I like feel that stress in my body. So like happy, love, romance, musical movies. Can never stay awake though to watch a movie from beginning to end, especially after being a parent because I'm so tired. So I don't really watch much movies anymore. And if you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? Anywhere there is an ocean. So rather Vancouver or Greece is probably where you will find me in my lifetime near in the future. Favorite color. Hmm. My favorite color is anything earth tone. I love nudes. I love browns. I love cream. I even love the color green. I remember in grade two, I wrote that as my favorite color. And like who has green as their favorite color, but me? My eyes are green. You look outside and any color you see, trees, sky, flowers, plants, the earth, that is my favorite color. What was your dream job as a kid? Always in some kind of psychotherapy, psychologist, therapist. I always wanted to pursue a career in that because I just love giving advice. I love listening. I still to this day contemplate going back and getting a degree in psychology, but you know, a girl's only got so much time. Also wanted to always be an actress or a singer. I wanted to be a lot of things. What inspires you? I would say what inspires me is people that have really had rough times in life and they change their lives around and they do good for themselves and they succeed and they have love and happiness. I write a lot about recovery, healing, rehabilitation. I really love a story where you see someone come from a really dark place and they find light. What is something you'll never forget? Hmm, obviously being a mom, <laughs> obviously birth. Something I'll never forget, ooh, this woman that follows me for a long time. She's like always been a number one supporter of my poetry, my book, everything I write. She got a tattoo of my words on her body. I still have chills. I think about that every day. Like she got a tattoo of my art and my words on her body. And that is the most powerful, meaningful thing I swear to you that has ever happened to me. Do you plan to release another poetry book? I absolutely do plan to release another poetry book. I don't want to give like a time frame or a when I will. I have some other things on the go that are taking priority as well as just I've really been present in being a mom and really learning life and being with my daughter. So I've kind of taken a break. I know my Instagram has kind of like taken a little hit. I'm not on it as much posting poetry, but promise you I'm getting back on it. What do you like the most about Maria? Her personality, her humor. She is so funny. She makes me laugh. She makes me smile. She she does like break dancing moves she's singing she's dancing like she's she reminds me of me as a little girl loves to put like her vest on and her sunglasses that's something i used to do when i was younger i used to make everyone in my family call me jewel like i was just so extra in sparkly outfits heels i really hope she never ever loses that light and that spirit how do you keep your hair long and so beautiful 
People ask me always like your hair is so nice. Is it real? Is it fake? Is it extensions? Nope, it's real I actually just cut off four inches recently This was like down to my butt and now that I know how good it feels to get a haircut I'm gonna definitely go for more But how do I keep it so long? Hmm. I get it done maybe once or twice a year So I don't do much like processing and color. I wash my hair like every other day I use like organic good shampoos and conditioners, hair masks. Also, I don't use heat on my hair unless I'm doing something like today. I kind of like half kind of curled it, but I don't really straighten. I don't blow dry. I'm just like an oh natural kind of girl. So I think that's really helped keep my hair like long and healthy. I also eat pretty clean. I drink a lot of water. I take care of myself and my body and I think maybe genetics a lot of women need psychotherapy after the birth of their first child what do you believe and how about you wow what a good question i 100 percent believe women should go see a psychologist a therapist talk to someone birth narratives you know there's so many resources out there for women in postpartum i definitely think women should talk about their experiences especially if it was traumatic i really wish i opened up to a therapist about my birth trauma because i still have trauma from that yes i'm healing and i'm doing things now and i definitely am going to see a therapist when it comes to getting pregnant again because i have some fears and i have some things that i definitely just don't want to carry that energy so for my next child and pregnancy i definitely will seek psychotherapy i personally believe there's nothing wrong with talking to someone. If anything, it's gonna help you. I think that everyone that is struggling or has tra trauma or has an experience that they can't let go of, I think psychotherapy and therapists can only help you heal and release those thoughts. So I all right, those are all the questions I have for today. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure to hit that subscribe button to give this video a thumbs up if you would like to see more content from me. And until next time, take care, have a beautiful week.